All right, gamers, welcome to 2024. And in today's video, we have 1,012 droids versus 1,012 clone troopers, making 2,024 troopers total. These troopers include the soldiers inside of ATOPs, as well as the droids MTTs, as well as inside the ATTEs and the droid gunships and AATs. So there is quite a powerful army for both sides going at each other on this tiny little island created by Darth Bacon. There is also some surprise ambush units within the interior of the island, which should be pretty cool to see. So let's see if the 501st Legion or the battle droids is going to be kicking off 2024 with the first W of the year. And if anyone wants to keep track of how many W's each side takes throughout the entirety of the year, I would love to see how many clone trooper victories there are in 2024 versus how many battle droid victories there are in 2024. But that's a tall order, so I don't blame you if you really don't want to do it, because I personally do not want to do it. <laughs> so guys, without further ado, let's get this thing started. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what your New Year's resolution is. Either way, Let's get into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, let's go in slow-mo and press start here and see who ends up winning the first battle of 2024. A little bit laggy here and the, the lag might stay for a smidge because there's obviously a ton of units on the battlefield. MTT here just full firing into the ATTE and deploying troops at the same time. An incredibly ballsy move, but hey, have at it. Let's go into the interior of the island here where there's a few hundred soldiers from each side that are going to be fighting each other. These are the ambush units that I was talking about, although they're just ambushing each other, so... <laughs> Is it really an ambush or is it more of just a pitched battle? Who really knows? But losses are already starting to mount in here. I'm seeing a couple dead clone troopers on the ground. And there's one of those, I think they're called HMTs. Is that what they're called? But he's coming in here and he's launching some rockets. A lot of the buildings and trees are providing cover for the clone troopers from those rockets, which is definitely going to be very, very good. Ooh, but some of those explosions are still managing to make it through. So clone troopers will be dropping, nevertheless. It is not going to be very Gucci, my dudes. Either way, I do, I do have a couple New Year's resolutions for my YouTube channels. Um, number one is going to be to definitely get the Army Men book released. Uh, I'm, I'm like, oh, it's so close, uh, and I'm super excited. So that one's definitely happening because that one's not even like a far away project. That's like. I worked on it all year last year, so it's it's super, super close to happening, and I'm really pumped about that. The other thing is daily productions. Ooh, there goes an AAT right there. Absolutely on fuego. Uh, I want to upload to daily productions every single day this year. It's a big goal, and I really, really hope I can make it happen. Day one, we've got an upload out, so we absolutely love that. But pretty much all of last year and the year before I was doing maybe two to three videos per week on that channel and it just really felt like there was so much more potential there and so many games I really wanted to cover that I just ended up going eh I don't have time eh I don't really feel like doing it um, and so this year I really want to go hard and try and do daily uploads over on daily productions and I think that would be really really cool. Dead ATTE by the way over this way RIP to the legend. HMT, I'm gonna keep calling them HMTs. I think that's what they're called, but they could be another name. I'm not entirely sure, but it's getting hit by some bazookas, some, oh, I don't know how, but it just hit the thrusters. It hit the Nas on the thrusters right there and popped up uh, avoiding that, but three, four now rockets go into it. 
Uh, how is that still alive? Okay, it is on fire and its sirens are going off, so that's very good. Clones just need a few more shots into it, and I think it will drop to the, uh, the beach below. And... Okay, th this has to do it, right? Three... Okay, there we go. There we go. The gunship is now going to be entering into the water. There's actually a few droids in the water. Maybe it'll crush them. It's very slowly sinking on in there. That was pretty baller. I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed that thoroughly right there. Another ATTE right here could have been helping with that all along, but it seems to just be sort of vibing within the jungle here. Just having a full-on vibe sesh, if you know what I mean. Oh, there's another HMT over this way still. Oh, man. These things are really, really deadly. They've got rockets. They've got lasers. They can do a lot of killing. So that's going to be rough for the clone troopers. For sure. And there's a ton of clones in the forest now. Um, and there should be a ton of droids in the forest, too. But it seems like there's more clones in the forest than droids. Although maybe the droids just are a little bit more camouflage in here. Oh, and there's a lot of dead ones over here, too. So... Maybe that's why it sort of seems that way at the moment. Uh, and a lot of them are still on the beach back here, and a lot of them have died on the beach back here. So rip rip potato chip to the boys, and also the ATTEs seem to be dominating the AATs. The AATs are not really standing much of a chance here against the ATTEs, despite outnumbering the ATTEs about 3 to 1. So, I'm not totally sure about that. <laughs> not a great situation for the droids. No, sir. Uh, it's rough. It's rough. But yeah, either way, I want to do a bunch more on daily productions, and then of course continuing to upload to daily bricks and daily tactics. Um, daily tactics, I've done uh, uploads every single day uh, for for years. I've done that in the past, and uh, so now I'm not too worried about that. I, I try and get a video up every single day, but usually once or twice a month I end up missing like a Monday upload or something like that, but I'm not going to pressure myself about that. With daily productions, it's really more of a goal because I don't want to do two to three uploads a day. I want to get, you know, at least six or seven or get into the habit of getting six or seven up. And so therefore, the first year that I do it, I'm going all in and going seven for seven every single week. Um, so that, that's what my hope is. We'll see if it happens. Hopefully it does. But yeah, if you guys want to go check that out, uh, we'll be doing some really, really fun indie games, battle simulators, stuff like that over there that just doesn't really fit the main channel as well. Either way, the clone troopers, I mean, they certainly have not taken as many losses as the droids infantry-wise. There's definitely some dead clones on the battlefield. But overall, I mean, when we're looking at the droid side, there are hundreds dead already and the clone side there's way more living than dead except for over here where there uh, there were some immense casualties apparently uh but yeah the clones just seem to be doing so much better than the droids although there has been a mass cas situation over here at the very very front lines and that might be because the droids are now in a bit more of a defensive position here uh given the fact that they've been fighting this battle uh, for so long and losing that now they're like, okay, we're gonna go into full defense mode here and try and just hold out against the oncoming clone army. It's probably the best strategy, but yeah, whenever we look pretty much anywhere, there's a lot of dead droids and uh, not nearly as many dead clones on the battlefield. So I think the clones are swiftly coming forward with a beefy W for 2024. We'll see if they can keep it up and manage to swing it. Uh, but for right now, it seems like clones are poised for victory here. Actually, the far left side over here, is, it looks actually much more solid for the droids. The far right, on the other hand, definitely not so much. Oh, this HMT did end up going down over this way. Wowza. All right, why don't we go ahead and do a little time lapse uh, and try and kind of get forward in this battle a little bit so that way the lag subsides so well, let's do an overhead here and check it out for a little bit here while these two sides just sort of slam each other with constant shots there's still four or five AATs left alive which is definitely good and there's still two or three ATTEs All right, guys, well, it seems like the clones have come further forward up here, um, taking pretty crazy losses as they go, but the uh, frames have gotten better, so the losses that the clones and the droids have taken during this time is definitely helping our frame rate a little bit there. We went from about, like, 10 to now averaging about 15, uh, but the droid defenses are flopping for sure. They, they have sporadic defenders every few paces and things like that, but it seems that 
overall, I mean, the droids are doing pretty poorly. There's an AAT over here. There's a few over this way. There's one here. Then there's actually three still alive over here, which is pretty crazy. Um, but the AATs don't have a ton of droid help. There's not a ton of infantry cover for them anymore, as a lot of the infantry that were on these boxes and things like that ended up getting wiped out by clone trooper fire. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why, but the clone troopers just absolutely dominating this uh, this battle. Maybe I gave them too many powerful weapons. Um, they do have a lot of shotguns I gave them, because I gave the droids a lot of shotguns as well. And shotguns on uh, in this mod are absolutely insane. Also, there's a lot of uh, DC-21s, DC-19s, and DC-15Xs, so maybe the clone weaponry was really what did it this time. Oh, there goes another ATTE dying, finally. There you go. I guess it's also that the ATTEs have managed to stay alive for a very, very long time during this thing. Uh, there's still two left alive, and the AATs haven't seemed to do nearly as much as the clone tanks were doing on the battlefield overall. Um, although those HMTs seem to... Maybe they're HMPs. Maybe they're HMPs. I don't know. Um, but those seem to actually do a little bit more, which is good. Okay, some rockets going into the AAT. So these will probably go down due to clone light fire uh, as opposed to clone heavy tanks or anything like that. Uh, still a few droids left alive here and there, but mainly it is just sort of the droid tanks. So you can see there's probably still like 500 clones out of the starting 1,000 left alive, which is crazy. If you look at the minimap at the top left. Oh my goodness, man. All right, let's go into normal speed here. Um, this, uh, AAT over this way is still alive too, and it's actually moving around a little bit. So maybe that was the major problem is that the AATs just sort of stayed in the back lines for almost the entirety of the battle. And it's now sort of resulted in in them not having any infantry left because they didn't cover fire the infantry from the start, which is, you know, fairly problematic. Uh, they are getting some decent shots into some clones now. They're getting a few clones here and there. But it, it's definitely too little too late as once the clone bazooka troopers really make it up here and start slapping these tanks around, they're very likely going to die. <laughs> <laughs> die very very quickly also this MTT over here is still alive which is crazy I kind of thought all the MTTs had died but now nah, that one's still kicking it which is kind of cool there goes an AAT right there thanks to some clone rockets there's another clone rocket taking out another AAT and now there's two AATs left alive over here now they start to fire now like if you notice pretty much the entirety of the battle the AATs really were in the back there and only just now they're starting to really get a lot of fire out and they are killing a ton of clones here this is an absolute slaughter here but it's too little too late, man. I mean, these things are going to get hit by rockets. They will die due to that once the rocket troopers get over here. I highly doubt they completely, you know, 2v500 the clone trooper army here. So I think the droids really just kind of botch this thing. There's a few rockets hitting uh, from afar. I think all the rocket troopers are a little bit deeper in the jungle still. There goes the other one right there. There's still this one left alive, uh, which it looks like it has cleared out a number of clones over here. Um, although these things are pretty clunky and they're a little bit hard to get kills with uh, with their front blasters because uh, you can't really control where they fire. You can't tilt it or anything like that. It's purely pointing straight forward. And so since this thing got itself like kind of wedged into some trees here, it's not able to rotate that cannon. So it's basically if a clone is unlucky enough to be in, straight in front of it, that clone will likely die. But beyond that, it's just the top turret that's going to be able to get some kills here. And it is getting some over this way, I think. It doesn't fire enough or concentrate fire enough on a single clone to really get the kill. Oh, but there goes the explosion. And the explosion actually took out a pretty sizable number of clone troopers right there. That's insane. And thus, the clone troopers get a swift victory. Early, early on, they suffered almost no losses. Look at that. Their beaches are clear. It's only like up at this midway point did they start taking losses. And then out here they did take a lot more losses on the battlefield. Um, but overall, the droids just took so much more. Um, a lot of these bodies are deleted as you can see. There's just weapons without bodies lying around uh, because of the tanks and because of the explosions and stuff like that. But especially over like here, the, it just seems like the droids took so many more losses right off the rip than the clones resulting in them taking some L's. Um, it also probably doesn't help that the MTTs are loaded up with like 100 soldiers and they all probably <laughs> died as they evacuated them, uh, which probably isn't super duper helpful at all. Eee. 
Yeah. <laughs> Either way, guys, that's going to be about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Uh, and let me know what you guys have as your New Year's resolution. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.